Hey, it's Sol with another video. As you can see, I'm in the Paladin class order hall hanging out with some of my peeps. Look at them. Paladins everywhere. Looking all Paladin-like with their Paladin weapons and Paladin shoulders. Me though, I identify myself differently. Sometimes very differently. Today I'm going to share my favorite plate transmog options and where to get them. Links will be in the description below. Let's start with complete sets. Starting with a classic tier 7 set. I guess you could say this has a lot of sentimental value. This happens to be the first cosmetic set I ever bothered making before there even was transmog. And I'm sure that a lot of you know how that was back in the day. Most of the parts here are tier 7, with a few exceptions that gives this a little flavor, and a bit of a technological look since I'm an engineer. That includes the armored titanium goggles which is for engineers, the peacekeeper blade from Trial of the Champion, and Gizlock's hypertech buckler. There's also what's still my favorite tabard, the Tabard of the Shattered Sun. Here we have a very stripped down paladin. Some of this comes from the Ogremar cosmetic set. The sword and shield can be pretty much whatever you want if you're going for this kind of, well, slimmed down look. The bloody bandana is also a Warlords of Draenor garrison sort of item. It's a reward from the quest called Cold Steel. You get this from the inn in your garrison. To get bare feet, you need Gripta's authentic troll shoes, which are, you know, bare feet. You get this from the Darkspear Quartermaster. As far as I've seen, there's no alliance equivalent, but at 50 gold, it shouldn't be hard to make a horde tune and get it. There's an armored variant of this set that you can get too. This involves getting the Greystone arms, feet, and pants. The belt is the Warmongering Combatant's Girdle of Prowess. It's PvP stuff, but you just need a few marks of honor to get it. The shoulder is Rikisha's Pauldron, which you get at the end of the Light's Heart questline. Say hello to the Pirate King. This is more of a horde variant of the set given the red color, so I'll provide other options for you later. This set happens to use the Fleet Commander's hat, although if you have any sort of captain's looking hat, that'll work too. The Ogremar Spalders are also something that you get from your garrison. The cloak I'm using happens to be the cloak of blade turning, but any cloak with a similar color scheme will work too. The chest, pants, and boots are from the Nobleman set that you get from the Dark Moon Fair. That stuff might take a while to get, but if you happen to have several alts, there's a way you can kind of cheese getting this set in a pretty short amount of time. I'll provide a few links to low to help you through that. It's kind of important to get both the pants and boots. Using both will give you that unique look. Using anything else will take it away. You want to use gloves that won't overlap the sleeves on this chest. I happen to use the gloves of brawn. For the weapon any cutlass will do, I thought that Admiral Taylor's cutlass would be a good fit though. And as a last bit of flavor, I use Captain Rackmore's wheel as my shield. I thought this mining set was kind of cool. I don't know if I'm quite finished with it. I mean, I know that I should probably have him wear pants instead of shorts. I just haven't really found anything good that I liked. But this uses a mix of the Ogremar set. Pretty much any undershirt will do. The Garden Hoe is something that you get at your Warlords of Draenor Garrison. That's from a vendor in your herb garden. Any similar kind of weapon will work thematically too. I went with this belt again because it just seemed like a good fit. And the Underworld Helm is from a Horde questline. The scrap metal shield is something that you get from an early questline over in the Northern Barrens, but there is an alliance variant that you can get from Thousand Needles. This samurai looking set isn't something that I'd consider done, but I think you know where I'm going with this, right? This uses the Shadow Pan helmet from Mr. Pandaria. I like the Warforged chest plate because it has kind of a good look and kind of has those sort of shoulder pads, not shoulder pads. I like the utility look of the crafted belt, and paladins have no shortage of skirts, so this worked. I went for a plain, unassuming shield, and there are a lot of different kinds of one-handed katana-like looking blades you can go for. I just went for this particular sword to be cheap. The chef outfit is a deceptively hard outfit to go for. You can go with any weapon and shield that you like. I thought using the shield worked kind of well because it sort of looks like a food tray. I use a lot of the nobleman set again. This gives it a kind of executive chef look and feel to it. The helmet and the tabard are going to be pretty hard to get though. The chef's hat is not a piece of equipment. It's a toy that you buy in Mesopandaria. The apron is an even bigger pain to get. To get this, you need to unlock almost all of the recipes from Mesopandaria cooking content, and then deal with this midget version of Nomi until he finally gives you this tabard. Oh, and here's a fun set that I threw together for the start of the Legion expansion. I noticed that there's no representation for the Scarlet Crusade at all. So I thought, hey, why not be the High Lord of the Scarlet Crusade too? So let me point out some individual noteworthy items that might be worth farming for. If you want this really creepy looking face, you'll need to gain rep with a Laughing Skull faction on the Horde side. 
I mentioned this earlier, but the chest plate of the Chosen Dead is one of the few types of chest pieces that have a very large front 3D texture on it. My wife says it looks like a bumper, but I think it's pretty cool. You can get that from the Trial of Valor. There's the Slayer of the Lifeless, also known as the Sword of a Thousand Truths. This was referenced in the WoW South Park episode Make Love Not Warcraft. If you like the engineering look, the seismic bore and other variants can be found in Siege of Ogrimmar. Another notable engineering kind of item are the Vagaries of Time, which you can get in Dragon Soul. If you want to have a little fun, there's the Tremendous Tankard of Terror. If you want to get a little goofy, there's the Crimson Cranium Crusher, which you can get questing in Northrend and there are other variants of this as well. If you want to fight almost barefisted, there's the Glorious Scepter. Or if you want to pretend you're a wizard, pick up the Talon Branch. The Shovel of Mercy is... a shovel. The Yungle Fire Carrier is a random weapon you can pick up over in Pandaria, which I think can also go pretty well with the mining set. What's cool is that it affects the lighting in your environment as well. The Hammer of Vigilance is something you get from the Maiden of Vigilance over in the Tomb of Sargeras. This isn't a bad match for the Soul Warped Tower Shield if you want to go with a kind of corrupted look. The Bulwark of Azanoth is of course a classic look, but the Black Rock Bulwark is your high-res option. So that's pretty much everything that I have to show you for right now. Like I said, this is just a personal list, and I get that we all have different tastes. If you have any gear suggestions or questions or comments or concerns, just let me know in a comment below. Otherwise, I'm just going to stand here and pose. Like and subscribe to support the channel, and otherwise I'll see you later. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay breezy.